it's it's such a, a core thing for them and you're such reasonable guys i even i went through one of the pieces that was kind of like going after uh you and i use that kind of loosely but it was almost like <laughs> the point of the article was we need to get better at uh f- like uh debating yeah. uh, these points and like and it was and it was right. so weird Red, Red and Link are too far gone it was, but but it was very others, political and yeah. like it was so strange to me yeah, yeah and i and i we understand that because we were intimately involved in that side of it and um i think we we have regrets associated with that but it it still hurts when you say when you share this is who i am and then the response is this is where you're wrong you know, and I think that's where I start to, I start to relate to people who make the brave move to come out of the closet. Is that they're saying this is who I am, and they do get the response a lot. That's like, this is no, this is a choice you made, or this is a you know, and I, I feel for those people more than ever now. And so that's what I was trying to say earlier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but I also because I think that's why that's the emotional component, you know. I shared who I was, but then now I'm dealing with the criticism of, well, you just you, you just did it wrong. If you would have understood or or lived certain things, or if you didn't have a certain neurosis, like if if you didn't have the anxiety you have, or um, this is something you put on yourself, and it's that's not what God wants for or you. Or you don't understand grace, or whatever. You don't understand yeah. grace. I think, you know. And I think I think those things are true, to a certain extent. That like, yeah, th- this this is part of who I am. But it, um, but it hurt. It, it just hurts when you're sharing who you are, and then people pick up pick it apart like it's separate from you. When you said you said a moment ago there were regrets with something. What, what were you saying? Um, what did I say? <laughs> I, of being judgmental. Of being, oh, you mean of you being, in the past. yeah, of uh. of being, you know, I think being on the receiving end. I think we were on the giving end for a long time of just being able to put people in a in in a box to well, apply labeled and specific, but specifically to we, render judgment. When you uh, and listen, everybody has their own biases, and everyone everyone basically thinks that they're right. Otherwise, I mean, you, hopefully, everyone is sort of as close to the truth that they think they are like, you know, but there's an interesting sort of, there's this interesting thing that happens when you subscribe to a worldview, which says that you have the truth, like you have the preeminent truth that comes from the creator of the universe and you have a special relationship with the creator of the universe. And a lot of other people don't, even if you're a loving person, because there's plenty of people who are incredibly loving who are in the Christian community. But if you subscribe to that worldview, you can't help but delegitimize so many other experiences that people have. Like you can't help but delegitimize. If if you're if you're the kind of Christian who subscribes to the idea that the Bible clearly teaches that it's wrong and sinful to be gay, well, you can't believe that the love between two men or two women is as legitimate as the love that you have, right? You can't you can say things like, love the Love the sin or hate the sin, which is really one of the most backhanded. <laughs> it's just so insulting when you really think about it. But you're basically delegitimizing people's humanity, um, and it's and I think that it's a pattern. It's a really interesting thing because you know one of the things that Link talked about in his story was how specifically his view on LGBTQ issues was something that kind of like pushed him forward in his decision. And a lot of people criticized him for that in some of these articles that are being written, saying things like, well, it's clear that it wasn't really intellectual. It was mostly because he just, an emotion, he has an emotional attachment to this idea that he doesn't want to judge gay people. And I'm like, well, isn't that a good motivation? <laughs> you know, the intellectual and emotional, you can, you can try to parse those things, but I find it really interesting that some people are making that argument. And one thing I saw said, it's too late for Rhett and Link, mostly because of this LGBT thing. Once they've gone there, wow. it's too late for them. And I'm like, can't you see that you guys have lost this argument? 
history is going to leave you behind. You know, you can hold out, you can get into your little crevice and hold out as long as you want to. But in the same way that we had to argue about, you know, we had to convince the church that uh, slavery was wrong. <laughs> we had to convince the church that interracial marriage was okay. Now we're having to convince the church that it's okay to be gay. And they're going. And you keep, don't mean we. I don't. I don't think <laughs> me, meaning me and no, you. I'm. I'm saying yes. I get you. The culture. Yeah. You know. And so I. I, I just think it's. I don't know. It's. I get fired up. To, <laughs> I get fired up talking about it. And you know. And I get more fired up here than I would on our podcast because I'm trying to keep our podcast a little bit <laughs> even more friendly and inviting place. <laughs> but it's you know these are these are the things that I've been thinking since yeah. since the uh, all the, the the hit pieces have come out. When you showed the picture of us um, at the YouTube live event, yeah, and it was the first time we all got together. Yeah. I was. You know, I said we felt like outsiders because we weren't we weren't connecting with the community in the way that a lot of creators were. Um, I also felt, I think we we sensed that we were misfits because we were so um, fundamental. And I think that if you had an interaction with us, mm -hmm. and I'm, you know what, maybe maybe what maybe you remember, but I had this thought that like people can tell that we're different and we would usually say that in a good way it's like people can tell that we're different and that's us being a witness for us having a relationship with Jesus okay but it was also this people can tell that we're different because we're we're uptight i think we're judgmental you know and once we started you know we were working out of this little basement studio uh, and just putting stuff on the internet. And once we started to actually, our world got bigger when we started to meet other creators. Um, I remember when we met Michael Buckley the first time, he gave me a hug. And I remember thinking, I th this is the first openly gay person I've ever hugged. Oh, and wow. I don't yeah. know what, I know what I'm supposed to believe about this guy that I'm hugging, but this, but, and it was a crisis moment hmm. for me because I was like, this doesn't feel right for, for me. And let me clarify, it didn't feel right for, for me to, to render judgment of him because what I wanted to do was hug him back and actually mean it. But hmm. there was, I was I had been the belief that I was ingrained with didn't allow me to uh to sincerely hug the guy. And I was it was upsetting. Yeah, and that must have been really hard. And it was and I would hate to think that he felt that, that he felt the judgment that, you know, I, I think if that I was supposed to to render. And and again, as I'm as I'm sharing this story, I start I, I started to become super aware of anyone listening who um, uh, might be saying, you know what, I I have a relationship with God. It's different than what you said. I never believe those things. I know there are people who yeah. believe there are Christians who believe also. You know, they're all on the spectrum, right? Um, they could be gay affirming. They could. Be, so we're not saying that just because you're a Christian that you that you're that you can't right not a broad actually brush. love yeah. yeah yeah but I I'm speaking for me it's we're like kind of talking I, about the world that we came from the right. the specific flavor of Christianity yeah. um but it was a it was a powerful <clears throat> moment you know and I hope he hears this because I've never told him that like that moment of me hugging him was uh it was a big milestone in me coming to grips with this and I think being involved in YouTube and becoming more part of the community and my world expanding, it people think that it's that, oh, they moved to LA and they got liberal. You know, they gave up their faith. You know, I mean, well, you could also blame it on YouTube because many years before, it's like, I mean, in a very good way, it, it expanded. You know, the, the people in this, we, we, didn't, we didn't rub shoulders with, anybody like in that 
before that picture. You know, it, we were in our own little microcosm. Yeah, it sounds like, and we like felt this. like we had it all figured out. And I took extreme comfort, and I think with the way that I worked, I really needed the comfort of knowing that okay, I'm right, I'm right. If you know, I'm safe because I'm right. It's Heather deal. Yeah, yeah. And it made it scary to start to say, okay, I'm am I I'm going to let go of this. Um, but it was, you know, so I don't, I, I understand, I understand why I was there, but I'm also grateful that I'm where I'm at now. Hmm. And, um, people are coming out of the woodwork that knew us before and it's news to them. So it's, are you, are you okay? Christy, are you okay? Are the kids okay? It's like, because, you know, it, it's a, it's a, their, their viewpoint is that we've lost something. We've lost a, a specific type of faith, okay? A specific strain of faith. But my response is, yeah, we're, we, we're very much okay. This didn't happen yesterday. It happened over a long period of time. We didn't share it on the heels of coming to grips with it, one. But two, um, I've gained a lot. You know, um, I've gained the ability to to love myself and other people a lot more than I ever have, and that's something that's something I'm grateful for. 